you know, I don't do it by your rules. I do it by the rules that's enabled me to accomplish and do what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing I go by. I have one person I have to satisfy, and that's the creator. And he blesses my efforts to cause the reality to unfold on the ground that's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at what the impact has been. Tell me. We targeted Vaughn County as the place to begin our uh, food security intervention. Mm -hmm. When we started in Vaughn County, Vaughn County had the highest number of expires, the highest murder rate, the highest general crime rate, the lowest employment, and was the sore spot of the country. We went into an area where everybody said it's going to be dangerous to go in. We went in and we started positively engaging the people who were the hurting ones on the ground. Mm -hmm. We gave them something to do. We took raw bush and converted it to what is now today in less than one year developed swamp, sustainable developed swamp. Three years from now, we don't have to rebuild bunkers. All we do is replant rice. And we are creating and are creating experts and people who had nothing to do but fight. Fight for survival and fight for a way forward. We've taught them how to use that energy to do something. You're talking to ex ex combatants Who's not an ex-combatant in this country? Everybody was able to fight for a cause. You're referring to those people. I'm referring to the ones who were, who were both the victims and the victimizers. Because if you can fight, you're a strong man, and you see a weak man there hungry, and you're hungry, you're going to take his food. So it's not difficult to understand why the problem existed that existed. The question is, what do you do about it? Well, when you redirect the people, you give them inspiration, give them a way to change their today and hope for tomorrow, they change their activity because now you give the responsibility of their own feeding, their own capacity and providing for their children, you give to them. You give them something to do by which they can facilitate change in real time because, you know, you can't give me stories and read poems to me and go through all of these loquacious uh, 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 verbiage and fill my empty belly. We're in a rice culture. You can't feed me cucumbers and peppers and satisfy me. If I eat fruits all day long, if I'm West African, if I eat fruits all day long and I eat groundnuts and everything else, at the end of the day, I've not eaten because I've not had rice. So we've got to produce rice and I'm showing people how to produce rice. I've created partnerships where we're working together to produce what's not just rice for the day, but what's going to have rice for their children and their children's children because they'll have the capacity, they'll know how to not only develop it because they're developing it from raw bush, but they'll know how to sustain it. Closer look.